Hey guys, happy new year guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Awesome. If you are new to this space and you are seeing my face for the first time, can you subscribe, like this video and share to your friend. And if you are my returning subscriber, you are the real MVP. I want to thank you for always coming back to check out my videos. Okay guys, so for those that are um, seeing my face for the first time, my name is Carlo Awesome. I'm a clinical medical student of Ibuani State University at Bakaliki, Nigeria, West Africa. So guys, and today this video is a highly requested one and then I'm not leaving my jam bites out of my videos so guys um jam beauty make exams are fast approaching i mean like very soon the forms will be on sales and then tadam the exams will be here and so i didn't it expedient to share um how i was able to made above 300 in my utme exams yes i made above 300 in my utme exams and so i'm going to be sharing with you guys the tips I actually used to um make um make the score do you understand and i know that if you apply it you definitely get above 300 in your utme exams you know um Utemi exams is actually um, an exam that admission seekers actually write in order to get admission into their desired course in the university. It's a very competitive exam, especially for professional courses like medicine, nursing, pharmacy, and the rest of them. So if you are um, vying for any of these courses, that means you have to do very well in your exams in order to um, get a slot in the admission list. And so... Um, for these exams, it's usually a written meeting step for a lot of persons and some persons, unfortunately, their dreams have been squashed here yeah, because they weren't able to meet up to uh, a reasonable score that can fit them admission. But not to worry, I'm here to share you guys the tips I've been, I used and then, yeah, that have proven so helpful. I'm going to share with you guys as well. So before I proceed, kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share as much as possible. In fact, any jump back need to see this video. Anybody that you know that is writing for or that is preparing for jam has to see this particular video. Especially for those that have been aspiring for um science-related courses. Okay, guys. So um let us get straight into this video. I'm gonna be dividing this video into two sections. One is on the study pattern, and then the other one is on the study materials that you'll be using. Let's start with the study materials first. Now, um, there are whole there, there is a plethora of study materials out there in the market that you can actually do your hands on to prepare for jump exams. But the thing there is that if you are not holding the right ones, you might actually, you know, mix things up. Do you understand, guys? You might actually mix things up. And then I'm going to be telling you guys some important materials you need to have as far as you're preparing for jump UTME. The first one for your jump use of English. Okay, guys, so for the um, UTME use of English, I actually recommend the Leasha Day series that is Invisible Teacher and then the A to Z of jump use of English. Before I actually met this awesome books, like this awesome stairs book, my um, I found out that my um, use of English is usually the lowest score among the four courses. And I was not like, uh, uh, but I'm fluent in English. It's not English everybody speaks and stuff like that. But no, there are a whole lot of rules and regulations that, guys, this, like, if our English is very difficult, let me just say it. It's not about us speaking it and stuff like that. So what I was like, doing before then was like, if I read the um, sentence and it's like, oh, this thing looks like it's correct, I will just pick it. Ah, but it was, it doesn't really work that way. But immediately I used this textbook, guy, my use of English was shot up to seventy something. Okay, guys, before it was usually just average around fifty something or something, and so that actually gave me an edge. So I'll actually recommend these two textbooks. Like you can actually go to market and then you lay your when you lay your hands on it, you can actually purchase it. It will do you a whole lot. And then um, for your chemistry, I'll tell you guys, I'll always recommend, um, first I'll recommend about your chemistry. See guys, everything that you need to pass your chemistry is in about you. 
forget no caps guys everything is in ababio but the thing is just that ababio is actually not good for calculations so you actually have to augment it but um it's not actually very very nice for people that are having like their starters in chemistry or people that their chemistry is not strong enough if your chemistry is not strong enough i wouldn't actually recommend you starting with ababio so ababio is like for people that have good foundation in chemistry so they can easily pick up the book and read it and then understand so if your chemistry is not strong enough you have to go for or, um this very 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 beautiful textbook called um, understanding chemistry by godwin ojukuko understanding chemistry i know i finished this like i finished it back to back like from the front cover to the back cover but the thing there is that there are some discrepancies there you know there are some things that um, understanding chemistry said that are actually i don't know for the current edition if they have actually picked some of these mistakes and have actually rectified them but the one i knew let me just remember one example was there's this question that jam normally asks about um um the gas in photographers flash tubes for some of you guys that have been solving your past questions you must have seen this um question so um godwin ojuku kodas understanding chemistry said it was argon and um xenon or krypton but that is wrong and then ababio said it is krypton and xenon which is very much correct and that is actually the right one so if you are finding any discrepancies like that there are other discrepancies anyways if you are finding such discrepancies please always resort to your new school chemistry by ababio please that's a very standard textbook i'll also recommend um lamlad chemistry here lamlad chemistry so this two textbook can actually boost your scores in chemistry if you'll be able to study them effectively guys um when i'll go to study tips i'll tell you how to study but i'm just trying to tell you the materials to use so i mentioned the material for your utm english i mentioned the material for your um chemistry and now let's go to the material for your physics for physics um, material i will always recommend new school physics yes guys new school physics is a very very standard textbook yes in as much as also is quite deficient in calculations that means you still have to argument the textbook with um calculations and physics but the thing there is just that almost everything you need to pass the and physics examination is in your new school physics if you can be able to read that physics textbook religiously like you will be able to ace your physics exams then um the last one is biology right guys wow biology i will always recommend um um modern biology yes see why i always go with modern see there is no question in jam biology that i cannot find in modern biology after i read that modern biology i actually found that every question in jam biology is in modern biology but then the thing there is just that it's not a, a very easy to reach textbooks and then remember that the writings are very tiny and then stuff like that but then there is this college biology by Idodo Ume. In fact, that was actually what made me fall in love with biology. I'll be very honest with you guys. Like, my biology scores improved after I finished reading this Idodo Ume college biology. In fact, I had biology at my fingertips. I don't know, but that textbook did magic. Yes, it did magic. So, but then the thing there is that there are some discrepancies in Idodo Ume biology. I can remember some examples that what he said that were actually wrong yes they were actually wrong can i still remember some of them but the right answers were in um modern biology we can actually look out for those stuff but i know that we have some examples that um modern um that um, college biology do may say that we are actually very very wrong like it was very very obviously wrong um i just hope that there is a current edition that actually rectified these problems but um the other test with the modern biology is actually very standard and it has very correct information now these are the textbooks i actually recommend for you guys to use in preparing for your um exams now the next thing i'm going to talk about very important is now the study tips how are you going to prepare in order to ease above 300 in jam 
Okay, guys, in this section, I'm going to basically be telling you about the study tips. So it's one thing to have the material and it's another thing to study the material. So what method are you using to study? So, you know, the thing there is just that um, if you apply the same method again and again and again, and then you're expecting to get a different result, you know, it's not going to work. So you have to change method. So the method I was using previously in my previous jam wasn't really working out the way I expected it. It wasn't as if I wasn't passing well, but it wasn't giving me the score I needed. So I had to change pattern and that's the pattern I'm going to share with you guys right now. Don't forget to say subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I'll be making more videos as time permits. Do you understand? Concerning everything you need to know about medical school, my experiences, my challenges and other stuff okay guys so um let's go um straight to what we are talking about first thing is that each time you are studying a particular topic in your textbook okay you have to have your past question alongside see the UTME past question is a very very powerful tool and um, you're not studying the past questions expecting them to repeat the questions in your exams no it doesn't really work that way like when i wrote my exams i didn't even see any past questions even if i saw i i don't think they were up to five okay i didn't see as past questions like you understand so you're not actually reading past questions to expect them to bring out the same question for you but you actually go to past questions to know how Questions from this particular topic can be asked like the kind of pattern or what the, in fact If you study a particular thing and you go to past questions to solve it You will discover a particular trend on how they normally ask their question. What do I mean? For instance, um, you have to read a particular topic. Let's say, um, I would like to give you as an example Let's say you are going to read, um, um, let me just say fruits and biology. Okay. Now after reading your fruits Okay, you have to go to past questions from the recent years to the older years and try to solve as much questions as possible that relates to fruits okay so the more you solve those kind of questions you will realize that there are kind of any question on fruits if in your own time you are writing the exam and jam decide to bring a fruit question you will definitely attempt it because you already know the kind of things they're expecting of you you understand probably they'll just give some options and tell you which one is not a true fruit or which one is a false fruit you understand those kind of stuff and other examples so you have to go through those past questions and so in fact this method i also use it currently um medical school and it has been working very fine after i finish with a particular topic i have to go to past questions to see the kind of like the pattern of um the pattern the question comes regarding that particular topic and i try to attempt it i try to solve them i try to solve mcqs regarding that particular topic i've read and this thing is also applicable to your jam so if you're reading any particular topic in chemistry whatever it is probably qualitative analysis after reading your qualitative analysis guys you go to past question and solve as much questions on qualitative analysis don't do a general past questions for now you are doing it based on the topic topic by topic topic by topic all right guys you find out that there are things they always want like they like asking you they'll ask you which one uh, probably like um which one gives this particular color in bouncing flame which one gives lilia color which one gives green color you know, this kind of thing, you pay much details into some, you even find out that there are some little details that while reading your textbook, you ignore that are very, very crucial and vital to the exams. And that is one thing the past questions will expose you to. Now, so each time, now you promise me that each time you read your textbook, you are going to your past questions to solve questions regarding that topic, right? Good. That's the first tip I'm now to share with you. When, um, always start with the subject you know best yes very very important um for somebody like me if i'm to write the exams i always start with biology because i feel like biology is the the one i actually know best and i can confidently answer in a very short period of time so i actually start my biology and then i progress to chemistry and then i do english my last is physics that is for me so you already know yourself do you understand you know the subjects that you have your like your um strength and then you know the subject areas that you have your weaknesses so always start because during the exams they screw they, they they will just pop up a particular subject for you to start with please you have the opportunity don't start anyone especially if they pop up 
probably anyone you are not conversant with please you are free to move over to the subject area that you know best and start with that and that will give you an extra confidence that will give you an edge you understand that will give you an extra confidence that you actually need you understand my point and if you can actually start with the subject you know best you can actually finish that particular subject in a very short period of time you understand my point then you now go back to the next subject and please while doing the exams if you find any question that you don't know about it you can actually skip it and answer the other ones but come back later to attempt it again and if you don't please click any option like lock and shine they're not doing negative marking do you understand my point but don't get shocked in a particular question trying to solve it over and over again whereas there are other questions that are waiting for you especially for first time jab bite like for first time people that are writing the exams you see a particular question that is looking strange you are wasting your whole time trying to solve it and stuff like that please leave the particular question attempt the ones you know first then you can always come back to attempt the other ones and like I told you, if no answer is coming to your head, you can always click on a particular option that you think is closest to the answer. Okay, okay guys. The next tip I'm going to be sharing with you guys is find your motivation. Yes. Like, why do you actually need to score so high to get into school? Some people don't have motivation. And some people don't even have people. They just want to apply for a course like that probably they just want to apply for medicine they just want to apply they just want to get into school because other people are getting into school and then you see that their preparation will actually be very fluidy like it won't actually be a very solid preparation for for someone like me i actually found my motivation i actually found reason why i actually needed to work hard to enter into medical school i actually found that motivation and i actually got you know the fire and the zeal, I mean, the exercise to read. So each time I remember my motivation and I'll be like, oh, more awesome. I really actually needed to be a medical doctor. I have to study for my exams. Don't understand my point. So if you are just there, I, 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 I like you are just there. You don't have any motivation. You don't have anything that is pushing you or more. Like you might not be able to have that exercise to actually, or the self-discipline to actually study very very hard so you can actually find your motivation Anything can just motivate be you. doing something every day like this thing requires you to be very very consistent with what you are doing um before my exams i was actually able to cover all my textbooks in fact i wish i had those textbooks here i would have just shown you like you see i i in fact i i i don't know how i'm going to say it like if you have seen those textbooks you have pity on them like guys I highlighted a lot of things. I made summary from most of the textbooks. You understand my point? I underlined. I read my Ijedo College Biology back to back, like from the very beginning to the end, like three times before the exams. And I was able to read modern biology once before the exam. Yes, I was. Because after reading Ijedo I always go through modern biology to check if there are you know some discrepancies and some stuff i was able to read my understanding chemistry from the beginning to the end i was able to read my daily ashade i was able to ah guys i did a whole lot of work oh i did mm, probably i should have scored higher but i don't you know <laughs> some things are like that so whatever <laughs> at least uh i got what i actually wanted but i'm not trying to tell you guys that see very very consistent with what you are doing um before my exams i was actually able to cover all my textbooks in fact i wish i had those textbooks here i would have just shown you like you see i i in fact i i i don't know how i'm going to say it like if you have seen those textbooks you have pity on them like guys i highlighted a lot of things i made summary from most of the textbooks you understand my point i underlined I read my Ijedo College Biology back to back, like from the very beginning to the end, like three times before the exams. And I was able to read modern biology once before the exam. Yes, I was. Because after reading Ijedo I always go through modern biology to check if there are, you know, some discrepancies and some stuff. I was able to read my understanding chemistry from the beginning to the end. I was able to read my daily ashade. I was able to, ah, guys. I did a whole lot of work, oh, I did. Mm, probably I should have scored higher, but I don't you know. <laughs> 
some days are like that so whatever <laughs> at least uh, i got what i actually wanted but i'm not trying to tell you guys that see you have to be very consistent you have to actually put in a lot of work you actually you have to actually do a lot of work another thing then lastly i'm going to be telling you guys is the god factor yeah god factor is everything actually god is the one that actually gives us the backing to do whatever thing we are going to do so in everything you're going to do even in your journey for the job exams you have to always acknowledge him yes you always have to acknowledge him so you always have to pray for his grace you always have to ask god to give you that grace you understand yeah i know god can actually god's grace is a very very vital tool in um so Good finally job. guys we have okay, come guys. to the end of today's video i hope you found this video very helpful please i want you to share this video to people that it matters to or in anybody that will be writing you tell me i want you to share this video to them probably to encourage them you understand or to make them to actually brace up and um you know to get them motivated and know that it's actually very possible to do it as well as probably you know the small tip i shared might actually go a long way in helping them out please always um and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you know